Hey there, I'm DJ Shares. I finally got to the point where I was receiving so many email messages and people were saying, hey, I really want to be able to make what you've done help me out. Helping people with the hardware isn't the problem. It's hard helping people with the software. So I created the EZB. This is the EZB version 3. And what it is, is a microcontroller that's laid out like the Arduino. So it's an Arduino format. And it's got a Bluetooth module on it, a 40 megahertz PIC. It has 20 serial ports, 20 servo ports. Um, the voltage regulator is 7 amps, so you can operate all of your peripherals off of the uh, voltage regulator without having to worry about um, you know, current draw and it overheating and such. It has 8 ADC ports. There's one I2C header, so you can chain I2C devices to it. It also has a 3.3 voltage regulator on there too, so you can plug in Arduino shields. All you have to do is plug stuff into it, and then it connects to your computer, and your computer does all the work. So your computer is the brain for this. This is like a, a controller is really all it is. So the computer tells this what to do. Now the benefit to this is your computer runs at a very high speed and has a bunch of peripherals and an interactive display and a keyboard, joystick support, all these different things you can plug into it. So by allowing the computer to be the brain of this, you can now add things like cameras and voice recognition and voice synthesis and uh, joysticks and Wii controllers. I mean, the list goes on. As much, whatever you can add to the computer, you can add to this. I've created a bunch of robots using this. And here, let me just give you a quick tour. There we go. So this is K9, of course, as you just saw. And this here is the Scarab robot. He's got claws that open and close, and it spins around. This is my first robot that I experimented with color tracking. He's got a camera inside of his mouth. He doesn't have a name. This is Teddy Ruxpin. Teddy Ruxpin's been removed and his eyes and mouth operate independently, plus he has moving arms and a moving neck. This is my spider robot, which is currently taken apart because I had to rob some pieces from him. He attacks when he detects motion. This is my small Wally. This Wally also has a Easy B inside of him. I can spin it around here and show you. Here's Dialec. He's got a little sensor in the front where it allows him to be able to up recognize distance. Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster has a little distance sensor in his mouth. You can see it there. And he walks. He's got walking motion in his legs. You can watch videos of all these guys online on my YouTube channel. This is a larger Wally. Same concept as the smaller one. And of course, Master Blaster. Master Blaster hadn't. Uh, really getting used too much unfortunately. I took his board out and he's just been kind of standing there ever since. So it's kind of a shame because he's a pretty neat looking robot, isn't he? Then I have this guy which I haven't modified yet. This is a Roby Senior. He'll be getting the EZB treatment pretty soon. Oh, and of course we also have Omnibot who is my best friend. Let me show you to him. Mm, there he is. He's been hanging out inside of my living room chilling out. He just had a long trip with me coming back from California, so I think he's a little bit tired. Plus, I think his batteries might be dead. I am DJ Shurs. I always want to make sure that people are uh, building robots and having a good time. Sir, I get distracted pretty easy. So, you got a tour of the shop, Easy Builder, Easy B. You can interact with me on my forum on the website on easyrobot.com. I guess that's about it for me now. I'll see you around.